when you look at California in the past 50 years, that California has faced more extremely dry years compared to normal and above more normal years. The reality is the 21st century problems cannot be solved with 20th century approach and 20th century solutions. Therefore, we have to be a little bit more innovative in the way we approach some of these problems. For the same reason, we look at a lot of data that has been generated locally. We were interested to see how these communities are dealing with the drought, if they took the drought seriously, if they really did implement some measures, and have they become more efficient in the way they use their water supplies. During the drought, the State Water Board mandated this tracking and reporting requirement that basically provided all this water use data for every single large utility in the state. So we took advantage of that opportunity to create these visualizations and be able to start exploring that data and what it said about the California drought. So this is the web portal that we created and it has different tabs that refer to each of the aspects of the drought that we were looking at. So we had a tab that looks up statewide water use and how much utilities conserved in each hydrologic region of the state. We also have more insights into the 2015 mandate. You can see how many utilities we were able to achieve and surpass their goal and which ones were not. And we have a similar visualization for the summer of 2016 once those mandates were lifted. So utilities, you can see for the most part, underachieved their conservation goals compared to 2015. And finally, we looked at the media and how much the public was interested in the drought. A lot of these spikes in public interest and public awareness are also related to high media coverage. So for example, when the governor declared a state of emergency in January 2014, we saw a peak in interest by both the public as measured in Google searches and in the number of newspaper articles. Additionally, we saw a really big backslide in water conservation once the governor lifted the mandate in 2016. This really relays how important it is to engage the public and make them aware and connected to their water use. It's really important to use some of the data and information that's available to help to build tools that are tailored to the local community's needs and challenges while we are trying to address some of the bigger picture problems that we are having at the state's level. So it needs to be sort of both top down and bottom up. One wet year does not eliminate the impacts that the California drought had on our water supply between 2012 and 2016. We have to be more proactive. We have to keep this momentum going. We have to keep the public awareness to the level it is and make sure that Californians don't forget that droughts and dry periods are real, true normal for California, not exceptions to the rule.